I need... I need to make more lockers and whatever again. This is just insane. I need batteries too. Oh, the battery charger. How do we make a battery charger? Wiring kit? Copper wire. Wiring kit? Copper wire. Silver ore? And then copper wire. Quartz. I have one silver ore. One copper ore. Oh, I've got water in here. Should take it out. Silver ore. But I might not have enough copper ore. Let's see. Wiring kit. Yeah, I don't think I have enough. I need copper. Battery charger is something we should focus on though, probably. Okay, I do remember that we got a radio message. So why don't we go check it out right now. Do I still have good stuff in here? <laughs> nope. Oh, uh, I guess I'll put- uh, I'll leave it alone. Whatever. Is it a sunbeam? Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. What? We have a landing site for you that's- Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Oh, okay, this is exciting and also a little bit scary because we have a timer here. Should I be going to where it wants me to go? They haven't given me anything yet, so should I just stay still? I mean, I guess so. Oh, right there. Okay. Well, we have 30, 40 minutes. I don't think it's gonna take us that long to get over there, especially because of the sea glide. Maybe like 10 to 15 minutes max? If we beeline over there, I don't think it's gonna take more than five minutes, to be honest. Although the timer does scare me. How do we make stuff like... No, there's a lot that we can't make. Mm, I think we got a bioreactor. Composts organic matter into electrical energy. Do I need that? Not yet, I don't think? Yeah, the one thing I really want right now is the battery charger. Let me go around and find some copper. I think I got enough copper ore now. But I also found this interesting cave here. I have no idea where I am right now, but my inventory is already full. So situations like these is probably why we'd want to have the beacon. Yeah, okay. If we want to find minerals, basically find a cave. That's the sense I'm getting here. It's actually pretty close to my life pod, but I have no idea where we are specifically. I kind of don't like the light that comes from the sea glide. It's very like eerie X-Files feeling. But yeah, look, it's so close. It's so close. There was a cave right there. I think I've collected enough copper ore for us to make a few different upgrades now. Let's see. I actually wrote a few things down this time. So hopefully, I'm not gonna be bumbling around. First things first. Copper wire. I'm gonna make two. Because what I wanna make is, in addition to the battery charger, which if I remember right, needs a wiring kit, copper wire, titanium. There is also the compass. Yeah, needing a similar kind of, similar set of ingredients. Oh, wiring kit though. I've got to make another one. Silver ore. Okay, I can probably do that. Silver ore. Silver ore. Silver ore. Are you serious? Okay, god. Okay, one silver ore. Thank you. <laughs> silver ore. Now I can... I can even make a mobile vehicle bay, but we'll do that in a sec. Let's see here. Battery charger. 
battery charger. Where would it be filed under? I have the copper wire. And the wiring kit. Actually, where would it be? Oh, right here. Uh, Well, I wanted to make a compass anyway. So how does that work then? Do I put that in my... this slot? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's right here, okay. Displays compass heading on the HUD. Where? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like a permanent upgrade though. Sort of. It does take up a slot, but it's a nice thing to have just to make sure we're kind of walking in the right direction. Although I kind of find that looking at my pod is a pretty good indication of where we are too. And then, after that, back to the battery charger. Where was that? Wiring kit. I gotta make another one. Interior modules. Okay, so this one I gotta use the habitat builder. That's why I couldn't find it. Wiring kit? This probably means we're gonna have to expand our little home soon because it's getting extraordinarily cramped in here. Like, extraordinarily. But it's okay, we're still okay for now. Yes! Now what do I do with you? I've got a dead flashlight. Access battery charger. I have a flashlight. Do I just put it in, or...? No, because I guess that's like the built-in battery. I can't take it out. So do I have to build another new battery for this to work? I'm actually not sure. Because I have so many things I gotta charge right now. The habitat builder. The scanner. Even the sea glide. The sea glide's at 19% now. Okay. Well, that's why I got a few acidic mushrooms, because you want me to make a new battery? Fine. I will. Two mushrooms, one copper. So does that mean that I can't get a battery to 0% then? Because what happened to the previous one? This is not my first time charging the flashlight. And what did I do with that battery? Did I just throw it away or what? No, I gotta like... Actually, do I even want to like... I don't know. Yeah. Do I want to charge my flashlight? Because the Sea Glide has a flashlight now. I kind of wonder about that too. But I think we should though. Because inventory wise... What I'll end up doing is, if I don't use a flashlight, I'll bring an extra battery for the Sea Glide. Which amounts to the same amount of inventory space taken anyway. Plus, the Sea Glide, the energy probably runs up faster if I'm using the um, flashlight on it. Okay, okay. So I got a dead battery from that. Cool. But the other ones... I probably want to make like one or two more batteries just to make sure that I can switch between the other ones as well. Because right now, I... I can't take out this one. The scan... like... Uh, you know what I mean? I can't take it out of the thing. So maybe I'll make another one then. Let me grab another mushroom really quickly. My biggest constraint right now? Ew, was that always there? Ew. My biggest constraint might be copper ores. <laughs> We've been here for a while, but I still get scared by the noises sometimes. I do have two. Did I finish making all that I wanted to make though? Let's see. Because we can also make a mobile vehicle bay here. Which I'm pretty sure they want me to make very badly because they've been saying, Hey, Mobile Vehicle Bay, Mobile Vehicle Bay, over and over again. No, it's okay. Let's make another battery then. And then what I can do is I'll switch this out for the Sea Glide. Yup, and then I'll do that. Right. And I'll put the 19% here. Okay. Basically, if we want to get the old battery out, we have to make a new battery. It doesn't seem like we can just take the old one out, as far as I can see, or can I? I'll try. 
Yeah, it just says it, but I- Oh, unload battery. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Great. I'm wrong. Everything I said was wrong. Uh, I'll charge everything while I'm just kind of using the fabricator here. Why not? Yes. Charge this, charge this. So what's the total amount of stuff in my inventory that needs batteries? Sea glide? Scanner? Habitat builder? Flashlight? We also have a repair tool that I'm not using right now. I'm thinking if we want to go rescue some people, then probably bringing the repair tool might be... I don't know, it could be interesting. Just in case, right? We wouldn't want to be trapped in a situation where we needed it, but we don't have it. Mobile vehicle bay next. We need lubricant. One, one lubricant. And then a power cell, which I know we have. Power cell. And then the last thing we needed was what? Titanium, I think. Titanium ingot, which I also have. I know I have one. It's sitting around here somewhere. I know we had one. I made one earlier. Ah, uh, maybe it's back in my pod. Really? Oh, it's right here. Oh, I need like a find button or something. I'm just missing these things because there's so much stuff here. Okay, fabricates vehicles from raw materials. It's surprisingly smaller than I thought it would be. It's not really what I think of when I think of the word bay. Okay. How does that work? Oh, it's mobile, so I don't have to set it down. Okay. Do I have to do this outside? Release vehicle bay. Whoa, where are you going? Oh, you go up. You float. Okay. So what? What is this? I can make a sea moth. Okay. So it means if I want to make a sea moth, I had to make a mobile vehicle bay first. Okay, got you. Well, I don't I don't have a sea moth right now. We should be getting it soon if I come across lucky fragments. But should I just leave it here then? Until we get the sea moth anyway. You better not float away. I swear. <laughs> We still have 27 minutes left. Yeah, just killing a bit of time here before... Before we have to go to the Sunbeam, which I'm sure, I'm sure those people are gonna come rescue us and we're gonna be out of here. We can probably spend this time expanding our home a little bit because we're really, really getting tight on space here. Like, really, really tight. Oh! There was one more thing I wanted to make. The Aquarium. I'm not sure if this is how it works, it's a self-sustaining aquatic habitat. Pretty sure I have glass on us. It's quartz, right? I'm thinking if I have an aquarium, what I can do is if I see peepers and bladderfish outside, I'll just dump them in. And then when I'm hungry, I can go grab them from the aquarium and then eat them. The way I'd be using it would be more like a fridge, but I'm assuming that's what it's for. It's not for like viewing, right? For beauty purposes. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. The quartz. I have quartz already. Can I make glass? Okay, now we can make an aquarium with the habitat builder, but it's right now charging. How fast does the charging go? That one's 92. What was it to begin with? I'll wait a little bit then. Oh, there's really so much stuff here. Oh, one more thing that happened when I was trying to gather the copper was that I learned that if I don't have the helmet, I still get radiation. Like right outside my house, I walked like maybe a hundred meters in front of me and I got radiation damage, which probably means I should be taking this back. But having two helmets on us takes so much space though. Maybe if we know that we're not going to be going anywhere deep, then it's okay to leave it at home. Like, for example, going to Life Pod 17, we'd probably want to bring that. 
There is another message. Okay. These things, they're kind of, they take up a lot of space, but I don't mind for now because, yeah, it's, it's all right. I'll just put them in random containers around here. It's not a big deal. Are the Sunbeam people looking for me again? Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about our meeting. How could I? You're rescuing me. How could I forget? Oh, they seem really insistent on me reading this one. The icon's not going away. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Life pod 19. 300 meters away, actually quite close. Second officer Keen's last broadcast location. Oh, it's not that I don't want to go rescue people, but I don't even feel like I'm in the position where I can take care of myself, let alone try to rescue somebody. Uh, where are our survivors? No? Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Okay, no logs, just the coordinates. Oh, 300 meters deep. 1,300 meters away. Okay, that's actually pretty far away then. Never mind. Oh, okay. I wish... Hold on. Is there anything in my storage container? <laughs> Another med kit. Well, bringing a few with us probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't want to put too much in here because I don't want to keep coming back to the escape pod, but we'll put that in there. Well, the stuff should be charged by now. When we go to the Sunbeam, I think we should probably bring a lot of stuff. Well, if we're leaving, right? If we're going with a mindset of leaving, all of our valuables should really be on us. Yay! Great. Take that. 95. All right. So we'll pop this into... The Habitat Builder. My mouse wheel is a bit old. My mouse is like 10 years old, so it's a bit jittery here. Oh, did I get another battery from that? No, that was just the animation. Okay. What am I trying to do? I want to build an aquarium. But before that... I mean, I can't build an aquarium here because <laughs> there's no space. There's no space. Let's see if we can't go outside and, I don't know, expand a little bit? How? Okay, what I find really confusing is that, to begin with, I didn't even realize that these things are like... Like actual rooms, I guess, because... I was always looking at this multi-purpose room, thinking that, oh, okay, we need this, we need this. I thought these were like connectors or something, but it's not. These are like actual rooms, too. And then this one? Basic glass wall compartment, low structural integrity. The structural integrity. Every time I load the game, it says, Structural... Oh, shoot. It says something like, Structural integrity of the um, hull is now 8. I don't know what it means specifically, but it does seem like I have to worry about my place being safe and not breaking apart. I'll take that. Okay. I think we'll get going around 15 minutes or so. Just watching the clock on the side there, but for now... Okay. Okay. Drink some water. <laughs> I'm on the verge of dying here. No! Drink the water. Vital signs stabilizing. Yes, we're okay, we're okay. We're right outside our home. So what can I make here then? What should I make? We have a bunch of these tubes. Just looking at the general area though, how should we expand? Maybe putting my home next to like a bunch of cliffs wasn't the best idea because expanding might be kind of difficult. If we expand forward, there is a bit of radiation there. 
Well, apparently I don't have to worry too much because we get back all the materials for building anyway, so I'll just build whatever, and it's okay. X component. Or compartment. This is good, right? Because it means that I can... Yeah, yeah, it's a big place. It means that it can go all sorts of different ways. Yes, that thing. Minus one to base hull and strength. Total now seven. So what happens when that reaches zero? Building more materials makes it so that it goes lower. Is that enough for now? Oh, but the only place I can enter through is here because of the hatch. Okay. We can make different floors. Foundation. Maybe that's why I want the foundation to make the hull better. But how do I do that though? Like, do I... Oh, like that? Oh, I don't have lead. I don't have lead. Do, 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 do. Yes. Okay. Probably keeping that number high would be a, a good thing. Mm. Convenience-wise, would probably be nice to have a different hatch too, not just the one over there. I'd never come back from this side anyway. Like, I always have to wrap around and stuff. But while we're building anyway, why don't we build a little bit more? Like what? Vertical connector. So I can't put one here because I have a solar panel there. Probably. Does that... Oh, but if I build this... Well, let's see. Oh god, everything I build makes the hull a little bit less sturdy. I have to build a ladder, right? Because earlier I saw that in the thing. I can build a bioreactor. I don't need it right now, but I don't see why I shouldn't try building one. Yeah, I think we need this thing. Connecting two floors? Maybe? Dude, these two places aren't even connected right now. What the... I, uh, was I, was I wrong to assume that it should be connected? How do I fix this? How do I fix this? Do I need, like, a connecting piece? Actually, I have no idea how to fix it. Oh, reinforcement. Increases hull integrity. That's gotta be good. So why is it okay here, but not here? I'm trying to understand the rules of why we can build and why we can't. Like, why... Why is this okay? But not that. I can leave the shape here and build it later. Let me just make sure this is how I want it, though. Like, what if I do this? Oxygen. Jesus. Oh, Jesus! Ha <laughs> ha! I don't want to die building my home! Yeah, so just looking around, it seems like there's like floorings, levels to this. Can I rotate this? Like, my dream is... Why does that not work? What am I doing wrong? Mm. I guess that doesn't connect, obviously, because the middle... I know you can add a hatch in the middle, though. Like, I just want the... Mm, the but the middles of the tubes don't connect, I think is the issue here. See, why is that okay? Why is that okay? But then that part's not okay. Okay, you know what? We don't have time to worry about this. I'm just gonna work with what I have here. Because we have 17 minutes until the sunbeam arrives. Which honestly makes no sense. Because why are we still working on our habitat when we're getting rescued? <laughs> but you know, we're just gonna pretend to not notice the inconsistency. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe building this one would have been better too. I'll leave that one alone for now. Maybe I'll just... Go in here. Okay, the power is connected. The power is connected. That's good. Oh, I can build it inside here too. That's cool. Should I right now? Not enough titanium! See, this is why it would have been nice to have this connect. But I don't... Mm, I might have to rebuild this sometime. But not right now. 
This is good. Take that. Can never have too much titanium. Seek fluid intake. Already? That was fast. I'll eat too while I'm here. That's why I want to build an aquarium. I want to store a bunch of food so that when I want to eat, I'll just get it. Vital signs. I don't have to like go looking around. Might as well get started on the aquarium before we even build it. I need bladderfish though. Or I can try making disinfected water. Disinfected water is good for traveling because of the inventory issue, but just for eating water, <laughs> drinking water, it's not a big deal. Where are the bladder fish? There's none around here. Okay, well in that case... Salt deposit and coral tube sample. Salt deposit, coral tube sample. Salt deposit, coral tube sample. I can make a lot of it actually. I want to make bleach, not water. Yes. Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. I didn't know that. Bleach for cleaning wounds? How do I do that? Okay, we really have to be careful of the time. 15 minutes. I don't want to be late. They're probably not going to wait for me. Oh, yeah, nothing. I just gotta make it. That's all. Wait, do I get two disinfectant waters from one bleach? Oh my god, that's so good! Okay, then I actually have a reason to do this instead of seeking out bladderfish every time. It's a lot more convenient. In fact, maybe I want to make a few more. Salt deposit, oral tube sample. Hmm, bleach, bleach. Now, oh, I really need a way to go over there. This is so inconvenient. And it, whoa, it's so dark. It's so dark. Even darker than usual, I feel like. Jeez. See, that connects. That connects. Uh, maybe this is gonna be my main thing then, because that place is a bit too small anyway. Mmm, we probably want to build... ...not wanting to block off the spaces, like the connecting spaces. But from inside, I don't know where that'll be. Anyway, let's build the aquarium and go, because we're, we're kind of tight on time here. Uh... Let's see, where's my... ...locker? How many wall lockers can I have on one wall? Like, maybe there's actually a reason why I'd want to build the small lockers as opposed to the big ones. They're a lot less... I mean, these take up a lot less space. Yeah, like, I can't put two in this one little area, right? So maybe it actually would be better for me to build a wall locker. Two wall lockers... We'll experiment. Whoa, is it really this big? I didn't realize. And this is nice because you can put a, a label on it too. Okay, that's not what I... Oh, what? Wait, why does it look different? Oh, because I'm not done it yet. All right. Oh! See, this is great! Three wall lockers. Oh, but it's, it's gonna bother me that it's not perfectly spaced apart. Okay, good, good. What I'll do is probably just dump this stuff in here because we have got to go. Water? Cook some fish? I don't have any more salt deposits though, do I? Yeah, space-wise though? Two wall lockers is probably better than one locker, but I don't have time to like... 
you know, examine if that's really, really true right now. I also want to build an aquarium. Can we get it done really quickly? Oh, jeez, man. No, I think our room is just too small for this. This isn't how it works. <laughs> okay, worry about it later when I come back then. Right now, I gotta make sure that we're... Not hungry, not thirsty. Welcome aboard, Captain. And we'll go. Probably this means if I want to make it over there on time, I'm gonna have to like beeline over and not look around. Although I'm sure that something will distract me from time to time. Let's try to limit that though. Hmm. Hey, my spots got moved. Uh, how was it before? Knife? I think scanner should be first, actually. I don't know. It's more intuitive to me. We'll see how this works. Oh, scanner battery. There's one. Scanner. Flashlight. Survival. Flare. Uh, the air bladder might not be needed now, now that we have the sea glide. I mean, I'll bring it with me anyway. Definitely don't need the habitat builder. Anything else I want to bring? Hmm, well, I think we're okay for now. If we're leaving here... Oh, repair tool? Just in case. I don't know why. Because we might be seeing people, right? Maybe we'll need to repair something. Anything I'm missing? Well, I've got food here. Can eat it right now. And maybe I'll cook another peeper for the road. But do I have salt? Yeah, salt is... I don't have that much salt. So I'd rather the food go bad, actually. Maybe. Okay, now we really gotta get going. It's really dark, too. I don't like it. Do I have an extra battery? I've got two extras. And I've got med kits. This is all I need, right? Hopefully. I can't see very well. See, I really don't like the... the Sea Glide battery. It's so... Dude, I can't see a single thing! Oh, but this is easy to go over there. I don't think it's even gonna take 10 minutes. But it does bother me that it's kind of in this really dark region. So how do I build an aquarium then? Do I have to wait until I get the multi-purpose room or something? Maybe it doesn't work in the tubes. Whoa. Hey, this looks promising. We do have a little bit of time to spare. Oh. Scanner room. Great. Just need a little bit more. Ah, uh, the flashlight battery. Oh, there's some sand sharks around here. We should be careful. Oh, great! Amazing! Ah! What? You little... Dude, leave! Leave! Yo, I feel like that's actually something I might want to go back to make. I mean, we'll look around here. The sun- the sunbeam is basically right there anyway. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen ah! efficiency decreased. Wait, there's a chunk here. There's a chunk. Yes! Scan it- Oh! Oh! 30 seconds. The day is breaking. Day is breaking. Oh, okay. Turning off the flashlight turns off the topographical map thing, too. 
Whenever we come up and I see the Aurora, I feel like we've never traveled anywhere. Yes, this is good, this is good. We're going places. This is a huge chunk, oh my god. How big is it? This is the Aurora? How big is the Aurora? Propulsion cannon. We have to hurry. We have a limited amount of time. Oh, some of the data stuff still works. Oh, I don't like how we have to turn off the light every time we do that. Huh. Oh. Mobile vehicle bay. Laser cutter. Battery charger. Good for getting titanium. How is that happening underwater? There's electricity in the water here. Shouldn't we basically be dead? My god. Yay, I got a bench. Okay, I think it might be a good time for us to scramble soon. Natural Selection 2 poster. Oh, more benches. This is the most useless stuff. It's not relevant. Okay. Seven minutes? We still have time. Alright. Alright. We can look around a bit more. The laser cutter might really be a good thing to, um, go back and make though, but not this time. I say go back and make because, I mean, let's face it, we're not gonna get rescued. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, it's already 100 meters here. 100 meters, depending on where we are, feels so different. If we're in a cave, it feels like hell, but here? Doesn't really feel like it's anything. Is the sunspot- sunspot- sunbeam location gonna be dry land? That's where apparently one of the- um, the pods, life pod 19 is. Is this bioreactor? Seamoth! Excellent. Excellent. Come on, fragments. Ah, I don't want to go in here. Wait, what? Did you- Did you kill the sand shark? What? Oh my god, are you serious? Hey, the sand sharks are killable. That might be important information to know. Okay, okay. I think we should go now. We should go. Should probably, you know, just stand around and make sure we're ready to be picked up. They're not gonna wait for us, probably. Oh. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be on the, the bottom of the seafloor. How are you up here? We can chill walk over there now. Another creep vine location, which means stalkers, probably. But stalkers are okay. I think I'm less afraid of stalkers than sand sharks. Because sand sharks are really unpredictable. I don't have space to pick up the titanium, but I'll scan it anyway so I can pick it up in the future. Oh, I guess I did have space. We're fine, we're fine. We're making it over. That's- I definitely can't pick that up. Yep. Okay. 
Maybe once we get there, we should read the entry about the Aurora too. I never read that one. About how many people it carries, what's the capacity. Maybe it'll even mention something about the purpose of the ship too. Where were we trying to go? What were we trying to do? Before we fell down here. I'm sorry, but I don't... Can I use the sea glide backwards? I think so. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Oh, I think we gotta go. What is that? What the hell? That was like some kind of alien creature. Even more alien than the fish we've been seeing. It was like a humanoid creature. It kind of looked like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> uh. Hey! Land! Land! Huh? I'm sorry, what were you saying about the... large energy reading? Is that just a sunbeam coming? Oh, yeah, we'll scan all this stuff while waiting. The danger is in the sea, it's not on the land, right? Even the alien can't come up here. It was doing some strange beam though, okay? Like it was doing some teleporty psychic beam thing. I don't like it. Am I still infected? Yep. Wait, where are the coordinates? Am I exactly where I need to be? Cave crawler. You're not attacking me. Agile territorial carrion feeder, well adapted to both land and sea. Gas exchange membrane, absorbs essential gases from the air or water for basic bodily regulation. Mandibles, this species seeks out corpses in packs before defending its claim while the corpse is devoured. Necessary waste cycler, avoid or incapacitate. Avoid? Well, it's gone. Wait. I felt like I kind of took this for granted, but what is this? Ancient civilization? Huh? We don't know much about this planet, but I guess it makes sense that there might have been a civilization here before. Don't be so egotistical to think that we're the only ones with intelligence around here. Purple tablet. This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks, and features a symbol which resembles a U, lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, oh, and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device, if necessary. The technology is far beyond Federation levels, Oh! I need to put it here. Yeah. Force field control terminal. This device matches no known technologies, and it is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock, and only requires the correct kind of key. Should I really be looking at this while the sunbeam is coming? Oh, I don't have one. I scanned it, but I didn't make it yet, because the one that I found was broken. So not this time. Touching that is probably not a good idea. Um, Yeah, when I first looked at this, I was like, oh, of course, there's a bay here because the ship is going to dock here so it can pick me up. But why is there a bay here? And if there's a civilization here, what happened to the people? 
Because I'm pretty sure we haven't seen a single person around. Okay, maybe we're thinking too small, though. People? Aliens. They don't have to look like people. Maybe that Frieza guy was a civilian here. Who knows? Oh, wow. We're actually on land. Oh! Okay, well, we got our tablet. But the sunbeam is coming in literally 20 seconds. Should I make myself known by standing at the spot? Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. I'm here! Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. No turning back now. Why does that look like a turret? Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Oh no. It's coming from the building? Oh no. Change course. Set thrusters to full. Um... Well, this is a problem. Oh! Oh, that's... That's like a... Oh... Um, I didn't think we were getting rescued. But it's one thing to realize that you're on a... You're in the oceans of a place where there's dangerous creatures. And it's another to see that there is a turret actively trying to kill people coming to rescue us. What do you think? Dude. This probably is how the Aurora was shot down. Oh my god, it's really dark, holy crap. Um... Should have eaten this a while ago. I'm worried about my food. My water is okay. I have way too much water. How do I have this many? <sighs> but we can't... We can't not look in this place. Whoa! Wait, is this nighttime right now, or...? Oh! Whoa. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. It's like a super quick nighttime. 